Hello and welcome to the walking talking topic on trigonometry question number two with me Mr Barton. Now I like this question because it's a multi-step question which are becoming increasingly popular in the exam. I've got to work out the length of side x but I can't do it in one go because if you look at this triangle I've only got one piece of information and I need at least two to be able to work out a side. So I'm going to need to get a piece of information from this top triangle. So if I can work out the length of that side there I'll then have two sides and as soon as I've got two sides I'm laughing to work out my third side. So let's concentrate on getting this side across here. Well I've got a right angle triangle, I've got one side here and one side there and I'm missing a third side so it needs to be a Pythagoras question. So I'm going to call this missing side Y, call it whatever you like um, and I'm going to notice I've got a hypotenuse and I've got a shorter side and I need to work out one of the shorter sides so it's got to be a subtraction just like I did in uh, question one I think it was before so here we go square it square it subtract it square root it so y is equal to hypotenuse square it shorter side square it subtract it square root it reach for your calculator here we go um, I'm going to do it in two goes like I did before 6.4 square it take away 4.7 square it press equals comes out horrendous on the calculator press your SD button 18.87 remember to square root it square root of my answer and that's going to come to 4.343 blah 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 um, I'm going to mark that on my diagram just so I remember it 4.343 Blah, blah, blah. Check, it's shorter than my hypotenuse. It is, so things are looking good. Now I've got to work out x. Now x is the hypotenuse of this triangle down here. So it's going to be an add, an add it one. Square it, square it, add it, square root it. So x is going to be equal to 4.43. Oh, sorry, it's not 4. Oh, yeah, sorry, I've written that down wrong there. 4.343. 4.343. Square it. 2.1, square it, add it, square root the whole answer. Now, if you're smart about this, you've already got that big long number already in your calculator, so you don't have to lose any accuracy here. So we can just square that, plus 2.1, square that, and press equals, and we get, and we've not lost any accuracy whatsoever, 23.28. But of course, we need to square root that to get our final answer. So square root of answer, and that is going to be equal to 4.824 dot dot dot. And I'm just going to check if I pop that on there, 4.824. Is that bigger than my previous two sides? Yes, it is. So that's looking good. And just to impress the examiner, let's put centimeters. Check they haven't asked me to round it to anything. They haven't. So I'll take four very handy marks.